the crowd. Drown out project management processes. There are 47 processes in the 5th edition of the Pimbok. Here is an explanation of one of them. Plan Scope Management. Now the process of plan scope management is about obviously how we're going to manage the work that's required of the project. And so we're going to need the inputs of the other planning, so the schedule, the resources, the, the timing, and the costs that are associated to it, and everything else in there, as well as the project charter. The project charter gives us the information about the, the intent or the objectives of the project itself. And the other inputs are going to be the usual enterprise environmental factors. Those are uh, such things as the company culture or just how we manage scope in our particular project environment and our organization. And likewise, you have your organizational process assets. Those are things like policies or templates or things that uh, may assist you in efforts to manage how the scope is planned. Likewise, we have the tools and techniques to help us do this. And when we're planning the scope, we have, as hopefully, we've done this a lot of times as a project manager and our project management team and, and everyone else involved, we can use our expert judgment to figure out how it is the best way to manage our scope. Likewise, we have meetings, lots and lots of meetings to help us uh, work things out and figure out how we're going to do this. Now, the outputs obviously are uh, going to be the plans. So if we are planning scope management, we should have an output of scope management plan. But also in addition to that, we may have a requirement management plan. So how are we going to deal and manage with the requirements is another output. So that's a quick look at the process of